Hi, I'm Bill Berloni and I have the greatest job in the world. I train animals for the entertainment industry, mostly Broadway shows. And all the animals that I train, I rescue from animal shelters. I'm also the director of animal behavior for the Humane Society of New York in New York City. And I wanted to give you three tips on what you should know about rescuing an animal from an animal shelter. With me, I have Lola. She's a big terrier mix who played the role of Sandy in the Broadway show Annie. And she's a large dog. So the first thing you should do is make sure you get the right dog for your lifestyle. She needs a lot of exercise. She loves to be outdoors. So she probably wouldn't be good in an apartment in New York City. So whenever you go to the shelter, ask the people there whether they think this dog would fit your lifestyle. If you have a quiet lifestyle, you want a calm dog. If you have, if you have a big yard, a big active dog like this would be perfect for you. This is my daughter, Jenna. She's nine years old, and this is her dog, Minnie. And even though we have 15 dogs of our own, when she said she wanted a dog, we went to the shelter to find the perfect dog for her. Now, most of the time, I'll recommend if you're going to a shelter, get your child a puppy. That way, you can send them both to training class, and the dog can learn how to behave as a good member of your family. But in, in some cases, you can go, and the staff there will temperament test them so that to make sure that they're okay with children. And what that means is that they're very calm, that they're used to being handled, that they're good with other children because you're gonna have friends over and they're gonna be playing with this dog, but, and also that your child will work with it and train it because otherwise it'll just become someone else's responsibility in the family and that's really not what we want. We wanna get a good dog for a good kid, right? Yeah. This is my collie Argyle. I got him from Collie Rescue of Long Island, and he has a very, very thick coat. Now, if you don't have the money to send your dog to a groomer, and it could be like almost $100 to get a dog like this groomed, you have to be able to have the time to brush his coat out daily, which we do. And we do that on a daily basis so that he doesn't come up with knots. But whether it's a long-coated dog or a dog that has lots of wrinkles that need to be cleaned out every day, it becomes a time thing that is on top of the other things that you have to do with your dog, whether it's training or walking or socialization.